Snakes here back with another video and as you guys can tell from the other, I don't know when I'm going to put up the other video, I'll probably wait like a solid four uploads before I put this one on because um, yeah. it'll be kind of weird to have like a, sh a different shirt to make it look like we recorded on different days. But I don't lie to my viewers. Oh, true, true. Just know I'll never lie to y'all. But now we're back with a nice little q and I asked you guys some questions on my Instagram. Instagram at is right there, it's at J underscore aesthetics. Um, told you guys just to send me like some workout. Um, questions while I have another certified personal trainer with me. So, if you did not watch the video, this is my cousin right here, Terrence. He is also a certified personal trainer. He is in college right now to become a... Uh, Want to be a surgeon. Yeah, a surgeon. So, you know, if you ever need money in about 10 years, to him. <laughs> another 15. <laughs> oh, 15? Oh, no, never mind. So, I have some questions here. I'm going to just shout them out. The answers will be, well, the questions will be on the screen as I shout them out and we'll just answer them. So, um... Yeah, let's go. So the first question, I'm not going to try and pronounce out all of these names because I know I will mess them up, so that's why I'm going to just put them on the screen. And for you guys' information, we both are the same height, around 6'3". I just look a little smaller because my torso is a little shorter than his, but my legs make up for it. So that's why I look a little shorter, so we're both 6'3". Just yeah, let you guys know that right now. Okay, so the first question is, is it better to work out with dumbbells more than machines? I mean, I prefer dumbbells just from a personal training aspect. I like dumbbells just because um, it works on different muscles that you won't get with, with machines. You need to stabilize. Yeah, them. stabilizing muscles and just testing your strength overall. I think it leads. I mean, I guess it's debatable whether which one leads to better growth or better definition. I know a lot of people that do bodybuilding they do like to do certain machines for certain uh, muscle groups and to get that certain de level of definition. But if you're just an average everyday lifter, sure. if you're starting off lifting, start off with dumbbells so you can build yourself up from the ground up. Yeah, but I mean, it depends because machine is a lot safer because you can't really drop it away. You can't really mess up with one yeah. or one um, controlled movement because yeah. the machine is doing nothing. I got to push. Um, so yeah, I would personally say dumbbell is better if you're like more experienced. If you're a beginner who does not know what you're doing, please don't pick up a dumbbell because you will probably rip out your shoulder. Yeah, I mean. That's my personal. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, I want to do personal. If training. you don't have any type of supervision. Yeah, I would say like, get, make sure you know what you're doing if you're gonna pick up a dumbbell. All right, so next question is: Are you always motivated? Is there a time with a lack of motivation? If this person cannot type, but I think he's asking: um, are, Am I always motivated? Is there a time where I lack motivation? And if there is, what do I do to fix it? Something like that. Okay. You um, about this Terry well, right? I did. Yeah. Terrence, for, your, uh, for me, for me, uh, my entire career of lifting, or my entire life, I've been the amount of time I've been lifting. I usually lifted for sport. Um, I was in high school. I wanted to get stronger. I wanted to be more physical. I wanted to play college basketball, so I had to get bigger. Uh, even now, I play in summer leagues and like stuff like that. So I do a lot of lifting for that purpose. So that kind of helps keep me motivated, so I can still be competitive. And sport um, but there's definitely times I lose motivation all the time and it's just like oh, do I want to go to the gym it's sometimes the best idea if you're somebody that's been lifting for a while and you lose motivation maybe take a little break uh, just figure out why you started in the first place exactly. kind of we uh, kindle the front the yeah front. exactly figure out what, what what you your purpose sometimes you it's as simple as like switching up your playlist uh, sometimes switching up your gym so you to work out going from full body to gross place yeah exactly like, Something like that uh, yeah, I don't know if that would be ideal but <laughs> <laughs> but yeah you would already be doing full body because full body is better switch, that's switch, besides <laughs> the point switch switching up switching up your point uh, switching up Whoa. your workout things like that um, definitely can help get your motivation back uh, watching things on YouTube seeing Jay other Sticks. seeing other people do it uh, can help you get your motivation back too working get a workout partner might help you get your motivation back. You just stole what I, if oh. you got my ebook, you already heard like some of the stuff that I would say for motivation. I've lost motivation before, it happens to everybody. Nobody's always 100% motivated. But, um, but you know, you gotta push through the days that you don't wanna go. And honestly, sometimes why I have not wanted to go to the gym have been the best workouts I've had. I forced myself to go. Mm. I don't know, it's kind of weird. But um, to stay motivated, have a, a, good, uh, a good way to stay motivated, to stay consistent with the gym is to get a workout partner because you guys can help push each other and yeah. make some type of friendly competition. For sure. Also, um, like he said, switch up a playlist, listen to music. It's really, motivation can come and go, yeah. but you just gotta be able to push it when you don't even have the motivation. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's your question. And if you get a workout partner, make sure there's somebody like 
similar to you. Like, yeah, that does. They're yeah. not. Yeah, because if you were both lazy together, you're never going to the gym. Yes, yeah, get a good workout partner. <laughs> yeah. And then you can watch YouTube videos, like you said. You know, Jay Aesthetics probably the best bet. In that. Yeah. What is your best sh shoulder workout? Mm. I would have to say uh, dumbbell. Dumbbell shoulder press. Dumbbell shoulder press. Yeah, solid. I've been testing out different things. Uh, I definitely am more of a barbell, military press type guy, just because I like to do heavy weight. Um, but I definitely feel like dumbbell shoulder press is, is good. I flirted a little bit with the Arnold press. Uh, that was that's pretty good too. Yeah, it's good. It's good for like anterior delt, like front shoulder, but like also. It's just super taxing at the same time. It's very fine. I can't do like really heavy weight on yeah. that. But for me personally, I would say um, dumbbell shoulder press is something simple yet effective. Mm -hmm. Why reinvent the wheel, you know me? Another question is, is, is something like an all salad diet beneficial when looking to tone? Uh, all salads, you mean like just like leaves? Zero nutrients you're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you mean basically just fasting? Just lettuce. <laughs> Fasting lettuce, uh, basically iceberg lettuce, straight water, no cut, no nutrients whatsoever. Uh, I would, I'd, I'd hide that. I mean, if you put like stuff in it, it can wait, be. Wait, what's, what's the question? It's like it's this all salad go. diet beneficial. I mean, depends what you put in the salad. Yeah, chicken like, salad. Yeah, I mean, losing weight is a lot. It's just simple formula. Burn more caloric calories deficit. than you eat. Yeah, caloric deficit. If you can burn more calories than you eat, you'll see a result. If you can't eat a salad every single day then don't eat a salad every single day. Eat something that you can eat that, you know, you have to work around it, you have to, you know. It's a very weird you question. Have, you have to, wants to eat salad every day? I never heard yeah, of that. I mean, people are just dumb. I, so I mean, that was my <laughs> brother that asked. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, I was also oh, like, yeah. oh, okay, okay. So I was like, yeah, you're dumb. I don't know if you're just trying to, like, yeah. I don't know if you're <laughs> trying to really rise out of me or what. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> when, when you're, I mean, some people are just uninformed and they think that, you know, oh, I have to lose weight after. It is a life Not change. Eat it is a life change, yeah. but like you, you have to do a life change that's sustainable. You know, if you're eating McDonald's every single day, a life change might be to stop eating McDonald's, but that might mean you could still eat burgers. Just maybe eat a home cooked burger, cut it in half instead of eating the whole thing. You're starving yourself will not make you lose. It'll make you lose weight, but you'll your body will start to perceive yeah. it as starvation, so it'll start holding the food. Yeah, then you and then start. it's it's just bad. So don't starve yourself. Yeah. Just change your diet. That's also make sure you work out. There's a lot of people that eat right and then they don't work out and they're like, why am I not losing weight? Like, yeah. why are you not burning anything? How do you deal with soreness? Terrence, come from a scientific uh, point. So yeah, for me. I found, I mean, things I've heard and things I know. When sometimes when you are sore, so let's say you, you do leg day on Monday or something like that, right? Um, if you do a leg day and you kill your legs and your legs are super sore, sometimes the best thing to do to break up that soreness is to exercise them. Maybe do some bike, do some running, some cardio, just to loosen up and break down all that buildup, break down all that lactic acid. Uh, foam rolling is also good for soreness. Um, Things like that, um, stretching, make sure you're stretching before and after, it helps. Uh, but sometimes the best thing for some artists is to just give yourself some time. Yeah. Uh, the things, like I said, like the cardio, the bike, breaking it, bringing it up, uh, it'll help. So sometimes you'll notice like if your chest is really sore and you start doing like a chest workout and you know, you're know you feeling the dumbbell stretch your muscles and it, and it feels good, it feels like a stretch, right? Um, so I think sometimes working out is the best way to get over that soreness, even though it might be a little bit painful and discomforting. Um, sometimes working out and breaking up that lactic acid, and breaking up that muscle uh, soreness is a good move. Way to go. Yeah. You know, me personally, I would say stretching. Yeah. Um, cold showers or ice bath, I do cold showers. Mm -hmm. um, and also, this is like another brand beat with chest work. It's kind of like a, I don't think it's scientifically proved, but I've told many people to do it and it's worked, it's worked for me. Take some apple cider vinegar. Take a tablespoon of it, put in some water, drink it, you'll be good by tomorrow. Next question, is training arms every day um, good to get them bigger? Me personally, right? So I've been training arms every day for the past month or something like that because as you guys know, I hate training arms. So I feel like my arms are always lacking, so I kind of like catch them up. But I don't train like biceps and triceps every day. I'll do biceps one day, train triceps, then probably take a day off, then biceps, triceps, day off. So something like that, just something um, light. So I would just do like 100 reps of anything. So let's say I'll do four sets of 25 dumbbell curls, and then I'll maybe do like four sets of 25 dips for my triceps, switch it up. Just like one workout, in all honesty, nothing yeah. really serious. 
So is it smart? It depends how you do it. I think the way I have set up is pretty um, good because you can still give your muscles time to recover and you're still being able to hit them multiple times a week. So yeah, yeah. I think it depends like what else are you doing? Are you just doing arms every day and then leaving the gym or are you doing- like, no, I mean, I do it like after every- No, I'm talking about like the person that's oh. asking this question. Like if they're just going to the gym every day and doing arms, like be a bro. you're just not gonna- big arms. You're, I mean, if you really want big arms, the tricks are build your lats so when your arms are at your side, it presses against your, your back muscle, <laughs> so your just, arms look just bigger. Just like this, it's different. That's <laughs> like this. Yeah. You have bigger shoulders. Like yeah, shoulders are big key. Diff different things like that. Uh, I mean, if you're working arms, like if you're thinking, I want to work arms to get my arm, uh, if I want to do arms every day to get my arms bigger, two thirds of your arm is your tricep. So if you're going to do that, you might as well just, just do a bunch of tricep, tricep exercises. It'll make your close grip push ups. Yeah, point. like, but what else are you doing? If you're just throwing on some curls at the end of your workout, some tricep extensions at the end of your workout, and you're doing other things too, I don't see a huge, huge deal with it. I mean, as long as you're not having muscular imbalances and yeah. you look fine, I think you're fine. Best three chest workouts for size? Mm. Bench press, dumbbell incline, push-ups. Push -ups. I agree. Uh, bench press for the strength, dumbbell incline will help you fill out that upper chest. Push-ups, push yeah, push-ups are the, probably one of the best things I did. What's the best training advice you've ever received? I actually saw something on Instagram. <laughs> Get not gonna lie. Get not gonna best lie. training this advice so from Instagram. No, I actually saw something on Instagram, the, it was either yesterday or today, and it said like, something along the lines of, if you're, think about all the things you're not willing to do to get better, there's somebody out there that's doing that and getting better at that thing. So, you know, if you're trying to be the best, you know, basketball player you can be, and somebody out there is busting their tail, waking up at 6 a.m. doing workouts, if you're in high school, like before school, if they're getting in the gym, getting their workout in, after school, getting their workout in, and doing skill stuff, they're gonna be better than you regardless, because you're not gonna be able to out-physical them. Do, if you're not willing to do certain things, there's somebody out there that is, and they're, they're gonna pass you if you're doing something competitive. And But if you're just working out for yourself, I think the best piece of advice you could do, especially if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to you know better your overall self-image, is just figure out why you're doing it and understand that when you go into this fitness uh, atmosphere or this fitness lifestyle, it's really a lifestyle change. I've, I've personally trained people that have first started working out in their 50s and they become from a sedentary person that just sits around all day to literally being a gym rat and calling themselves a gym rat and associating themselves with the gym all the time because it's really a lifestyle change. A lot of people don't want to commit to that because they're like, see the stereotypes of like, oh, I'll just be a gym, like this big like brolic gym dude. But like, it's really a lifestyle change. It's bettering your health and you have to understand that you're changing who you are and everything about you, you're bettering your health and you're also bettering your self-image and confidence and it's great. So I think that's a huge piece of advice I'd give anybody. If you're able to consistently go to the gym and be dedicated to the gym, that mindset that you use to go to the gym, to keep progressing in the gym, keep pushing yourself, keep, when you're at 15 reps and you're supposed to get to 20, even though it hurts, you still go through to get to 20 reps. That type of mentality and discipline that you're able to give yourself in the gym, I feel like the best advice I've ever gotten is to be able to use that in the real world as yeah. well. So like the discipline that you have to wake up at 6 a.m. and go squat, even though you don't want to, yeah. um, you should, if you're able to do that, you should be able to go out to jobs to go yeah. better yourself, well, get better careers, meet new people, make new relationships, yeah. um, get new opportunities. So you should be able to put that type of discipline that you have in the gym to outside, you know, schoolwork, all that type of stuff. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I feel like that's the best advice. Of I'd say it definitely translates, especially coming from somebody that's, from me, that I have a huge athletic background. Understanding that doing the things that you don't want to do is beneficial to just your growth as an overall human. How long did it take for you to start seeing muscle development? It's really different for everybody. Yeah. I mean, if you have good genetics. Uh, you can see it in a couple months. Yeah. If I, you're someone who doesn't have good genetics, eight months, well, that's a lot. Yeah. Because you'll start seeing small results, but like big drastic uh -huh. results. It really varies. Yeah. So like, after a month, you'll start seeing small changes. Yeah, I think if you are if you start off skinny, uh, you'll definitely see muscle development faster. You'll see like you're getting cutter. 
uh, more cut and you'll see that you, you'll see some muscles popping if you're starting off at a little bit heavier weight also if you're skinny if you're starting off I think if the diet doesn't match what you're trying to do you're not gonna make this the same or as fast results so diet I, and working out is like a 60 yeah. 40 relationship diet is up here working out is down yeah here. If you can't get your diet right you won't see the results that you want to so yeah fast. if you're skinny and you're trying to get big and you're not eating 3,000 calories a day you're not going to get bigger if you're uh, overweight and you're trying to get smaller and you keep the same habits of you know binge eating late at night uh, eating a lot of snacks throughout the day that aren't healthy, then you're not going to get the results even though you might be working your tail off four or five times a week in the gym. Big facts, big yeah. facts. Um, so hopefully we answered some of the questions that you guys had. We didn't answer all of them because I did not want a 60 minute video. But if you guys want us to do another one, drop a like right now. It's like, it's, this video gets one like, we'll do another one. Um, but yeah, make sure you follow me on Instagram so that next time I do this, you can hopefully get your question answered if you have any questions. You can always DM either me or you can DM him. It will be on the screen right now and in the description. So thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Y'all already know what I'm about to say because it's what, Terrence? What is coming out all year? Uh, I don't know. Oh, bangers, bangers. There we go. See, I can tell he doesn't watch my videos. I watch them. Um, I just don't watch them to the end. I just cut them off. Like, hey. This guy is super awkward. Uh, <laughs> wow. No. Wow. Um, also, if you're going to follow me on Instagram, it's a, it's my public, like, it's not like a workout account, so I don't post anything fitness related. Uh, but if you have questions, just feel free to uh, DM me and reach out to me because I'm happy to help uh, anybody that needs help. So, big thanks. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you have a nice little night, uh, morning, evening, whatever it is. Um, love you so much. No homo. Um, Alright. <laughs>